About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Hmm. Okay. So why are you targeting a gall bank? Playing it safe for now. But let's make one thing clear. It would seem we have little choice. Well, well. I don't want money. Fine. Dombrowski's a full-timer. Fortunately. To get what you need. Oh, no. You knew that this or something. Come, if you don't hold anything over the guy's head, he's not going to budge. This card will allow you to access the Starview Vault. Head inside and mingle with the crew. All right, Speedy, take it. Oh, there's one last thing. Meaning that you lose patience and... Anyway. I suppose that's a... Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count the blessings for the Hopefully the low temperatures do not interfere with our electronics. There is nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. You're a guest of Captain Rokoff, right? Welcome. designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Brings you aboard. A Starview Pass is required to enter the main ballroom. For the safety of everyone aboard, please be certain you don't interfere. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? <laughs> Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Can you imagine the security nightmare I'd have to deal with? <laughs> no, thank you. Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. 
Jerry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Here for business? Or what? So what brings you aboard? It's for the society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. The Society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S. A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Nice to have met you. The Society Chair has really outdone herself this time. Hello. Are you a member? All I know is that the award is given to whomever contributed the most to the preservation of Earth as a historic landmark. Donations to the Society can be debited from my bank account on a monthly basis. I barely have to lift a finger to help. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Don't forget to donate to the cause. If you have any needs, please enter a request into the computer located at the entryway to your cabin. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? An open bar would have been nice. But Trident... I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars, almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you think it was her own child. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I... That's all then? Okay. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all. I certainly hope they decide to hold all... Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest and cutting-edge security. I am completely confident that Trident Luxury Lines will keep all of us safe. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Forget it. I refuse to have a repeat of last year's fiasco, where the name leaked early and started a common brawl. The winner's name is safely sealed away with the award itself, inside the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. I certainly awesome. hope they decide to... Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people, if he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. Enjoy the rest of the event. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Any complaints about your cruise Having should be directed to one of the staff. Down. What the hell? When I asked you earlier, you said you weren't here for anything. Not only did you lie to me, but now you're telling me that... 
Yeah? And I suppose it's just a, a coincidence you happen to be asking me about the very thing Neva and I agreed to steal together. I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? I once saw Neva strip down a UC security ship and uh, sell the parts back to the UC through a shell company. If that doesn't put your concerns to rest, I don't know what will. Now tell me, what about the... Damn, that makes things more complicated. Hmm. Okay. Don't bother talking with the ship's purser. Without a claim ID... Dig up any dirt on the boss? What the hell? Well, I... Not only did you... Neva must be out of her mind if she thinks she's gonna... I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of... Without me, the award never... She told you to hold that. Fine, I'll help. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? Damn, that makes things more complicated. Hmm. Okay. Don't bother talking with the ship's purser. Without a claim ID, you'll never get to the award. There's no way around it. You're gonna have to get the ID off of Sheila. Here, give her this. I'm certain it will help. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Go do something useful, okay? Must you continue these un... Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Oh my goodness. How did you know about that? There's no need to make a scene. If you're here to steal the award, there's nothing I can really do about that, is there? Here, take it. In the event of a lockdown, what remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. Don't you have somewhere to be? This is not the very definition of decadence. I do not know what is. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. If the rest of this ship is any indication, I imagine there is an incredible amount of wealth stored in there right now. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory. Glad to have you aboard. Absolutely. 
The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of in the unlikely event our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. So, as you can imagine, I'm sorry, it's against Trident policy to discuss our person. I don't want to lose my job. Why should I tell you? I don't have time for this. I'd like to think so. I'd like to tell you, believe me. All right, but you didn't hear this from me. Do you understand? I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov, but I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing some paperwork to his quarters one day, and I found a slate with a message he received from someone named Delgado. That would normally be fine, but the message mentions the Crimson Fleet as in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters. Somewhere. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. We have resorted to theft now, I see. I could not accomplish that. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously, which doesn't leave much for the crew. Captain Rokov said you're allowed in any of the crew's facilities. This is one of Trident's top of the line vessels. To make I acquaintance. certainly hope they decide. His behavior towards women is abominable. Enjoy the rest of the event. The society Here chair has really outdone no. himself this time. And why the heck are you so interested in him anyway? Nice to have met you. An open bar would. Could we talk about something else? I've already told you everything. That's all then? Okay. 
That view is absolutely spectacular, Quite a lovely star. isn't it? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning? I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. So, what brings you aboard? Any complaints about your... Do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his... His wife? Uh, I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Maybe. I don't know. That's true. You have come this far already. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. I do not understand. Your anger is focused on Mr. Dombrowski, but clearly the failure of this plan rests on you as well. If you had to work near him day in and day out, I think you'd understand. He's a disgusting pig, plain and simple. I'm not gonna tell you. Let's just say that I'd be sent to prison for a long time if Galbank figured it out. I didn't know who the hell you were. For all I knew, you were working for Dombrowski. It's called playing it cool. You should try it sometime. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I was going to confront him back on Jemison, but then he invited me on this little trip through the stars. All expenses paid, first class accommodations, the works. I figured, why not wait until I've milked him for every credit he's spending before I drop the hammer? You've made your point. You know, this whole thing, Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all work. I do not understand. If you had to work near him day in and... Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. 
I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. <laughs> you won't do that. You're here because you've got some kind of sight. If you wanted to blow the whistle, you would have boarded this ship with the authorities. I was going to confront him back on Jemison, but then he invited all expenses paid, first classical. Oh, I know he was using me. At the same time, he was saying how much he loved me. He was stringing me along and stabbing me in the back. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. security situation. I need to get back to my duties. The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your ship. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You look a bit lost in these surroundings. Hello. You here for the charity event? Well, I work for UC Security. Meaning that business isn't exactly my area of expertise. I'm afraid I can't really help you. If you're looking for a business opportunity, you might want to check with someone else. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. We both know exactly who you are. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? You've had your time to talk. Now piss off. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard the Starliner. Hello. Are you a member of the society? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Maybe. But if something goes wrong... Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Well... Sounds like someone has been reading Starship manuals in their spare time. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant. But cause enough confusion and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. 
I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. There's access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview Ballroom. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time at his station as usual. Have fun with it. Once you're past Sundin, just look for the room marked Environmental Control. On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. Lots of clout with mast. Underneath is a greedy piece of garbage. Give it the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and pin the murder on someone else. Come to think of it. If he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. All passengers are instructed to immediately report to their cabins. Fortunately for us, all of the passenger cabin doors will auto- This is normally to ensure the crew can check cabins quickly and without interference. But in our case, it's like having an all-access pass. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown mode. That view is absolutely spectacular. This is well maintained, to be sure, but obviously just actually see. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the texts call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner-class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong, the quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls.
and remain there until you receive further instructions. <laughs> Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. A sharp contrast from the crew quarters, is it I not? was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a Claudia said emergency. that. You sure? Please report Damn it! Cabins in an orderly that means my money's already gone. And the Musk is going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. <laughs> it was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Dombrowski had the authorization to wipe out records on Galbank's system without raising any red flags. I let Claudia talk me into that. She said she had him wrapped around her finger. Apparently, she was wrong. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here. I walk away with something. All right. Here. With this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. Passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. You've already ruined our scheme. What else do you want? appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed. Well, well. 
you must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. And remain there until you receive further instructions. Au contraire, my misguided friend. There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out, and you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. ...in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. You may as well ask, is it necessary for the sun to set on Jemison or for one to wear a pressure suit when entering the vacuum of space? I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Will there be much more of this? My head is starting to hurt. Well, I'm surprised you even posed that question at all. The answer is quite obvious. The last thing I'd want to do at this point is call attention to myself. Obviously, that wouldn't be my preference, but I have little choice. Hmm? Though, Larry Dombrowski will be mysteriously vanishing after this cruise and possession of the credentials becomes ludicrous at that point. May I have your attention, please? Splendid. The captain has declared a ship It appears we've emergency. reached an accord. Please report to Wait, your I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course, I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? I usually have a nose for these things, but in your case, it's a mystery. Whatever the case may be, it's apparently worth risking your life over. That's telling me it involves a, a lot of money. That also means I want in. Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. All passengers, I owe you one, May I have Gobert. your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship 
worldwide emergency. Please report Don't to worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. I need to pack up and get out of here. The ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. <laughs> I need to pack up and get out of here. What is it? All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared. I would prefer that we both remain light on our feet. You never know what could happen. Thank you. 
another shift. You'll be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay, no bounty. My shift goes long again. My girl is gonna kill me. Hello, welcome to the, <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit and then I'll unseal the archives. How the hell did you know that? Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're gonna jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many... Grave mistake. Profit is never necessarily the aim, but if there is something worth taking...
I like people watching. Mostly watching them. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand, Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock, why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on, I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Approaching that in. Well, in any ship would be suicide. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. The Rook's right. We tackle one problem at a time. Can we track it, neighbor? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, 
I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. I promise. You're gonna write that in your diary, little girl. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Ah, a face I never mind seeing. What can I do for you? It's a real job any day. Yeah? All right, let's get right to it. First of all, this is my section of the key, so I'm going to stand here for as long as I want. And second of all, I know all about that award and your deal with Neva. We don't keep secrets between us. Just throttle down and give her the damn thing already so we can get to work. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call, but that's on you. Anyway, Here's your cash. Keep this up and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume?
Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the Archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galvang's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. Perfect. Just stick Perfect. Just stick with the plan and use. Apparently, when freezing to death, one may experience a warm.